my dear friends in Christ welcome to our reflection for the first sunday of lent as I, as usual i begin with a story told of a four high school boys who couldn't resist the temptation to skip morning classes each had been smitten with a bad case of spring fever after lunch they showed up at school and reported to the teacher that their car had a flat tire much to their relief she smiled and said well you missed a quiz this morning so take your seats get out a pencil and paper and still smiling she waited as they settled down and got ready for her question then she said first question which tire was flat punctured opportunity may knock only once but temptation leans on the doorbell the saying goes as we enter into the season of lent we realize this is a time of repentance a time to set aside the usual stuff of life in order to take stock of where we are and where we want to go where we are and where we want to go it is therefore no accident that lent begins with a reflection on jesus's time in the desert in keeping with the central theme of his gospel luke says that jesus was filled with the spirit and was led by the spirit into the wilderness three priests were on a retreat together they were sharing their struggles and difficulties with each other the atmosphere seemed right and it seemed safe to share at a depth that was much deeper than usual one priest confessed of being a secret drinker and he gave much detail of how he managed to conceal and cover up that fact the second priest confessed to having a gambling addiction even to using money from the parish account to feed his addiction he spoke of his dread of the inevitable when he could no longer cover up and his scam would be uncovered the third priest was reluctant to share it was only after much persuasion that he confessed his secret weakness he was an incurable gossip he had never been able to keep a secret good habits they say result from resisting temptation that's why we teach the clergy if you wear a habit have a good one habit also means the cassock or the dress you wear as a priest the complaint is sometimes made about clergy or parochial school children that they don't live in the real world often there is the attempt to protect people from the real world the world of evil and temptation gangs and dead alcoholics and addicts i had a 20 something lady tell me my mother raised me in the 16th century and then kicked me out into the 21st and i wasn't ready for it Jesus knows this real world of temptation and undeserved suffering and death 
the gospel of this first sunday of lent is luke's account of jesus on desert experience the desert here is more accurately understood as a wilderness the desert here is more understood as a wilderness which means dangerous uncharted place inhabited by wild beasts and bandits and many believe haunted by demons a storekeeper seeing a boy hanging about outside where there was a tempting display of various fruits went out to him and said what are you trying to do young man steal my apples i know sir said the boy i i am trying not to the court says if you don't want temptation to follow you don't act as if you are interested if you don't want temptation to follow you don't act as if you are interested the wilderness experience of jesus is like a retreat is a time for discerning and understanding his mission as the messiah these 40 days are marked by intense prayer and fasting not out of a sense of penance but to focus totally on god and the father's will for him the three temptations will confront jesus with a very human choice one command the stone to become bread will jesus use his power for his own gratification and a claim or to accomplish the will of god the pleasure principle of life temptation to pleasure all this will be yours if you worship me will jesus compromise the values of god a servant Uh, god to accommodate the values of the world empower himself or uh, become a servant the power principle temptation to power and position and status three throw yourself down from here will jesus pray that god will do jesus's will rather than jesus seeking god's will will jesus seeks to make god into jesus image or seek to become what god calls us to be then jumping would have been an irresponsible act we jump into many irresponsibilities just for temporary show of satisfaction Encounter of Jesus with the devil depicts the struggle he experienced during this lonely and difficult time to come to terms with the life that lay before him. Jesus then follows the spirit obediently on to Galilee to begin his mission and his ministry. Peter Thomas wrote a book called down these mean streets describes his uh, conversion from being a convict a drug addict and accepted ki- attempted killer to becoming an exemplary christian one night peter was lying on the cell bunk in prison suddenly it occurred to him what a mess he had made of his own life he felt an overwhelming desire to pray but he was sharing his cell with another prisoner called the thin kid so he waited after he thought the thin kid was asleep climbed out of his bunk let down on the cold concrete floor and prayed he said i told god what was in my heart I talked to him plain. I I talked to him plain. I talked to him of all my wants and lacks, 
of my hopes and disappointment i felt like i could even cry after peri finished his prayer a small voice said amen it was a thin kid the two young men talked a long time then peri climbed back into his bunk good night chico he said and thinking god is always with us it's just that we are in with him we are in with him the story is a beautiful illustration what jesus means when he says reform your lives and believe in the gospel reports markling we all gone through times of testing times which have tried our patience and tested our faith christians are not immune from troubles the court says from belor barbi don't just run from temptation look it in the eye and defeat it don't just run from temptation look it in the eye and defeat it jesus was brought out of the ordinary into a place where he was tempted of course with three temptations comfort power and wealth three things that can take us over money power comfort can lead us astray and priorities and prioritize comfort in various ways the words of jesus are to use all in service of god and the neighbor in a large city a priest parked his car in a no parking zone because uh, he couldn't uh, find a metered space he put a note under the windshield wiper and that read I circled several times but I I I I couldn't find a parking place I got to annoy a patient immediately forgive my trespasses when he returned he found a citation from a police officer along with this note I have circled this block several times and for 10 years If I don't give you a ticket I will lose my job lead us not into temptation Neil Max uh, Maxwell says if you entertain temptations soon they begin entertaining us that's why God allows testing to come our way he wants us to learn how to not respond to the pressure and learn how to go through the difficulties without being crushed emotionally says david humphard for luke the presence of the spirit in is the evidence that god is with jesus and jesus is from god it is the spirit that allows him to recognize the temptations of the devil for what they are and it is a spirit that guides him in his rejection of the temptation it, this is the same for his disciples we can only follow jesus by an awareness of his spirit within us all our lenten endeavors will be just a waste of time and effort if you are not guided by the holy spirit in what we do and what we choose what we overcome by the spirit the gospel for the first sunday of lent is always the story of the temptation of jesus in the wilderness it is intended to make us think not only about jesus and his struggle but help us realize that the history of God's people from Adam and Eve to the present day involves a similar story a similar event the essence of the temptation of Jesus was the idea 
that he could go it alone, that he could be entirely self-sufficient. But Jesus resisted this because he recognized his complete dependence on the Father. He knew that he needed to be nourished by God's word and that his true destiny lay in seeking to do his Father's will. When Satan succeeds in convincing us that we have it in our power to save ourselves, then we are in the path of self-destruction. Lent is a time for us to humbly take God's hand and to walk the path of faith and love that leads to Easter. In every area of our life, there are periods of mending, renewing, refocusing. We talk about spring cleaning, annual reviews, and in-service training. Now we enter a period to renew our discipleship. Prior to celebrating the death and resurrection of Jesus at Easter. So now, can we spend some moments considering how God, our Creator, made us and has provided for us? Let us recall that God, our Savior, has called us to live in a new way and to build a world of justice and peace. Let us remember how God, our, our inspiration, offers us strength for our discipleship, a journey through Lent, a journey towards Easter. Let us pray. God, you want us to be near to us. You lead us with your son, Jesus, to the desert of questions and temptations that you may speak to our heart and bring us back to you in loving trust. Open our eyes and minds and heart to discard all that leads us astray. Look for you and for the plans you have for us and for the world. Let your spirit give us the mentality of Jesus that we may seek your will in all we do and serve you in our sisters and brothers through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless.